This is Tiffany, also known as New York. Well, she's got a secret, and it's hidden inside this red bag. Will she make you cut off all communication with your family? Will she refuse to let you watch any TV show she's not on? Or must you sign a contract between you, her, and God before you have sex? We'll open up this bag and a whole lot more coming up on Baggage. Hi, I'm Jerry Springer, and welcome to Baggage, where singles reveal their darkest secrets for a shot at love. Tiffany, welcome. Nice to have you with us. Thanks, Jerry. Now, what, what is going on in your life now? Because you've had all this successful TV. Yeah. What's going on? Well, basically, Jerry, everyone knows me from all my past dating shows. Yes. Here I am, still single three years later. <laughs> Tiffany, we've got three guys who think they have what it takes to please a woman like you, all right? But like all of us, they got some baggage. Ready to meet them? I'm ready. OK. He's a cosmetics vendor from New Orleans. Say hello to Michael. Hello, New York. Now I'm from down south, New Orleans, home of the flavor. And I'm here to bring you your awesome sauce. He's a writer from Plainfield, New Jersey. Give it up for Barry. Oh. I'm never speechless. This is the first time I'm speechless. He's a respiratory therapist from Long Beach, California. Let's hear it for Anthony. Hello, New York. I'm a Hi. respiratory therapist. And if you accept my baggage, I promise to take your breath away. Uh -huh. These guys brought a small, medium, and large bag with them, each hiding a saltier secret than the last to help Tiffany decide which one she's choosing for a date. So, gentlemen, it is now time to look into your smallest piece of baggage. Let's start with Michael. All right. <sighs> oh, yeah, here we go. I talk and text during movies. Me, oh. That is looking a little ugly to me. Because I damn you text or talk during one of my premieres. If you're home with a woman, if you're locked on a television and not looking at her, she's going to be like, oh, you're not feeling me. You're feeling the screen. Yeah. I want to feel you, not the screen. Yeah. You know, well, I get fake. that. She's real. Barry, please sure. reveal your baggage. <sighs> I share my bed with four dogs and four cats. No, 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 honey. Anthony, please reveal your baggage. I cry during Dawson's Creek reruns. No, that's a tough one because I cry a lot as it is. And, you know, if the guy cries, too, You're gonna have a you know, I'm going to run out of Kleenex. Well, it's time for the deal breaker round, and this time the bags are placed here in random order. Now, when Tiffany decides which bag is too much for even her to handle, well, the man who claims that particular bag will be sent packing. Bag number one. I pretend to be an NFL player to get what I want. Bag number two. I judge a woman's ass before speaking to her. Bag number three. I will never waste my money on an engagement ring. Why not? It's, it's only something you do three or four times in your life. I mean, what's it? I will never waste my money on an engagement ring. What are you thinking? If you meet someone and it feels like the timing is right and you want to get engaged, I want to rock. I judge a woman's ass before speaking to her. <laughs> it depends, you know, uh, what kind of mood I'm in. Because yeah. I might want him to do that. I pretend to be an NFL player to get what I want. Guys always pretend to be their favorite stuffed animals, NFL players. That's fraudulent. That's fake. That's, that's kind of low. All right. It's time for you to tell us which of these is your deal breaker. My deal breaker is I pretend to be an NFL player to get what I want. Whoa. Gentlemen, it is time to claim your baggage. Oh. Oh. 
Why would you do that? See, everyone assumes I'm an NFL player. So I just play the role, and I don't want to disappoint them, so I just go ahead with it. I go along with it. I'm sorry, Anthony, but it is time to pack up and go. We've got Barry, who will never waste his money on an engagement ring, and Michael, who judges a woman's ass before speaking to her. Gentlemen, please join us over on the hot seat. Michael judges a woman's ass before speaking to her. Barry, what are your thoughts about that? What does her ass got to do with talking to her? That's true. Imagine if you mean you got all this going on and she turned around and she ain't got no ass. Look at what you gonna miss out on. Now, how does Tiffany's uh, shape up? She has a nice toned bottom. Make sure. Jerry, Jerry, I, I wish I had some more, some more thumbs. Uh, <laughs> all right. Now, Barry will never waste his money on an engagement ring. Michael, what about that? Money is just a piece of paper. You could burn that and get rid of it. You know what I'm saying? But if she just wants something on her finger, put it on her finger. That's what she <laughs> wants. Give it to her. Barry, what about that? What I mean by that is I want a woman who don't need me. She don't need no ring from me. I mean, she's gonna, you're going to know this is my woman when, I, when we open up the door and I walk her into the room. She will always have that introduction. So we're going to put you on the hot spot now, right? All OK, right. let's start with Michael. Michael into the hot spot. Here we go. How would you best win Tiffany's heart? A sultry kiss, mind-blowing massage, or subtle whispers? Why well, just give one? I'm going to give them all. <laughs> now, Tiffany got the nickname New York for her tough as nails attitude. What would your nickname be and why? If she's tough as nails, I'm gonna be the hammer. Oh, you talk to me now. Come on, bring it. Barry, please step into the hot spot. <laughs> now, Tiffany knows how to throw a punch. Would you calm her down with a drink, a kiss, or a spanking? All of the above. Tiffany loves giving back to the community. What was the last thing you've done to give back? I adopted two of my nephews, and I put them through school, and they're doing better than they've ever done in their lives. Oh, now, our two single guys are about to reveal their biggest secrets hiding in their bags. Will Tiffany choose Michael, who will talk through any movie you see, but only if he likes your butt enough to speak to you in the first place? <laughs> or Barry, who can't buy you a ring because he spends all his money on pet food and lint rollers. <laughs> Gentlemen, it is time to reveal your biggest piece of baggage. Michael. Uh, 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 bam. We must smoke pot before sex. Is this every time we have sex? Because I like a lot of sex. OK. <laughs> I don't even smoke weed. It puts that focus on you to take it to another level. I, I'm, I'm into pleasure. <laughs> Barry, please reveal your baggage. This is a big one. I perform puppetry with my penis for money. What? <laughs> How does that work? Because I only seen a penis go one way, not all over the place. Hey, then you only got it. one trick. So I'm a little nervous. What you do, you make little shapes out of it. You know, you kind of take it this way, you might take it that way. It's like, hey, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany, Tiffany, I got something to show you. Look at this. <laughs> Will it be Michael, who talks and texts during movies, judges a woman's ass before speaking to her, and insists you should smoke pot with him before sex? Or will it be Barry, who shares his bed with four dogs and four cats, will never waste his money on an engagement ring, and performs puppetry with his penis for money? Michael, I think that you're very real. And you talk a lot about being honest and open. Your bags are a little heavy, especially this last one. And now what about Barry? Barry's really sure of himself, and that's how I am, too. He doesn't give a damn. The puppetry of the penis. Immediately, I'm jealous, because I know I'm not the only one that's going to see these penal tricks. Tiffany, it is time to send one of these gentlemen packing. I'm sorry. Barry, you have too much baggage. Oh. I'm sorry, Barry, but it is time to pack up and go. Way to go, Mike.
Michael and Tiffany. And now it's time for Michael to decide if he wants to be with her after seeing her big bag. Well, the tables have turned, and of course, now it's his decision. What's the secret in Tiffany's big red bag? Will she make you cut off all communication with your family? Will she refuse to let you watch any TV show she's not on? Or must you sign a contract between you, her, and God before you have sex? <sighs> of these three possibilities, which is the toughest one for you to have to handle? Uh, the toughest one for me would be the family thing, because I'm a, I'm a family guy. <laughs> Tiffany, please reveal your baggage. You must sign a contract between you, me, and God before we have sex. Ooh. Oh. Michael, what, 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 do you, what do you think about this, or do you want to talk to your lawyer? Um, I, I need to go talk to God and ask him why did he tell her to do that for He's once? Here, ask him. Uh, uh, it, that's, that's a big one. It's but for a good cause. I'm dwelling on it right now for a second because, you know, you have to get your lawyer and things to, to read the, that small print of that contract. What's it gonna be? Mm. So I have to ask you now, Michael, can you accept Tiffany's... Give me this contract, man. Give me this contract. Whoa, congratulations! <laughs> Michael and Tiffany will enjoy a lovely dinner for you at Mastro Steakhouse in Beverly Hills. I will see you next time on Baggage, where every relationship is an opening check case.